Balance Confi alongside Jenny Horn. Jenny, we're going to shift gears entirely going from kind of this next gen of tech and, and uh, automobiles and discretionary spending all the way full circle here to consumer staples. And we're going to talk some Colgate Palm Olive. It's hard to say. It's the first time <laughs> I've realized that that's what that is. I feel like an idiot. But Colgate <laughs> Palm Olive, you've likely encountered these uh, products uh, in some capacity probably even today, or at least uh, one of their competitors in that way. We do know is that shares surged to highs during the pandemic and have since sort of normalized, fallen actually shares five billion in repurchases of the company's common stock to replace their previously authorized program that was from back in 2018. Now they've increased their dividend payout every year for the last 25 years, meaning that they have withstood several other market downturns, though some of those being the dot-com bubble, 9-11, the 2008 financial financial crisis, as well as the pandemic of the steady eddy, which is why I think it's still a very important conversation, obviously being a reliable consumer staple. And I would say maybe the strongest argument is that no matter what the market does or what the economy does or what the price of gas is, I hope to God people are still brushing their teeth. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you definitely hope so. Um, with this, so you talked about how it's increased hope. And so they're seen as a little bit more resilient to economic cycles. Mm -hmm. Uh, with that, they've also paid uninterrupted their dividend going back, uh, I believe, to the founding of the company, which is like 1895. And mm -hmm. so not that dividends are, 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 are promised, uh, not that can cost, I think now is sort of the question. No, it's, it's a really good one. However, they are, as you said, selling staples. So mm -hmm. the price goes up. And fortunately for us, we're probably still buying the product you'd expect it to be uh, with the overall market lower. So. It's not always going to happen. Sometimes that outperformance comes from just going down less, mm -hmm. uh, but it is always nice to see uh, things performing uh, the way you'd anticipate them to. Yeah, and I would say that maybe a lack of volatility or a more quiet name is something that is welcome.